XRP is about to make a massive move. And if that sounds interesting, you make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Pinky Charts here. Welcome back to another XRP analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. As you guys can see on XRP currently, we are testing these exponential moving averages after having an explosive move to the upside. You can see that in terms of resistance, we broke a beautiful level here at 40 cents. And now we are using this level as support, which I mentioned in yesterday's video is going to be a very important thing to do. Of course, as long as we can try to hold above these exponential moving averages and then the continuation, we can be looking for a massive move possible possibly retesting this resistance here at 44 cents and even the 45 cents which looking at previous price analysis you can see we saw a beautiful move before having this massive move to the downside looking at the hourly time frames i did want to talk about a few things of course number one being the fact that we are below the exponential moving averages but in terms of a fake out opportunity there is there is still quite a few factors to keep in mind number one of course looking at xrp we were in this beautiful move to the upside using these exponentials as support as we were laddering up but as of right now we do have have a clean break forward to the downside right you can see now we are rejecting the exponential moving averages as resistance and slowly coming back down so we could definitely be looking for another retest of 36 cents in yesterday's video, I mentioned the fact that this 36 cent level has not been tested since this whole breakout formation on XRP. You can see when we broke above this level right over here, we didn't get that retest. Actually, we used the exponential moving average to continue pushing on higher, which is why I mentioned it's going to be very, very tricky looking for those long positions, anything above these levels. The reason why, of course, is because you can definitely see that wick to the downside and then the continuation, and you don't want to get stopped out in that position, right? You ideally want to be entering that position at a crucial support level which we don't have that confirmation just yet once we see that confirmation on the four hour and multiple tests on the level then we can start looking for the overall level to be tested and of course as long as we hold above these exponential moving averages we still have the concept of continuing pushing on higher this of course is the only reason why if we did see a break of this formation then that would obviously make sure that the fact that this support level could definitely be tested and then the continuation right ideally in xrp you can see we were in that overbought region are the rsi so it makes sense for us to actually see a pullback opportunity here but there is a factor of course seeing this massive bullish engulfing candle and this continuation as long as xrp was continuing pushing on higher i mentioned to you guys we can definitely see a ladder case continuing hitting that 44 cents and then the move to the downside but it doesn't change the fact that if we do hold above this 40 cent level in terms of a bullish case we still have a decent area to be looking for that long entry of course in the bearish case scenario if we do have that break of these exponential moving averages then we can start to use this range as consolidation and possibly retesting my major levels here at 28 cents or even the 17.5 that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a wonderful